How does the message of Christ, crucified for sinners, risen again, how does that bring eternal life? Well, Paul tells us, verse 3, it has in due time manifested or revealed his word through preaching, which was committed to me according to the commandment of God our Saviour. It's through the preaching of God's word that this eternal life comes. Now, that doesn't just mean the preaching of God's word in now, in the sermon on a Sunday, although it certainly does include that. The word preaching means proclaiming, heralding, declaring the good news of who Jesus is, declaring the gospel. Elsewhere, Paul says, the gospel is the power of God for salvation. It's as we proclaim the gospel message, as we preach this news, that's how eternal life comes, Paul says. And that's why, as a church, we are committed to sharing that message. That's why, as a church, we're committed to having a focus on what the Bible says, proclaiming God's word through the scriptures. That's why our kids' groups, yesterday evening being a classic example, is not just a fun party, but a proclamation of who Jesus is, announcing the good news of Jesus being the light of the world. That's why our care groups are not just social groups, although they have a social element in them. I hope you find that's an encouragement. But it's not just that, it's rooted in God's word, in the announcement of who God is and what he's done for us in Christ. Our various outreach groups, all the things that happen in the week, have a gospel content, a content where we are proclaiming some element of the good news of Jesus. Because that's how, verse 3 says, eternal life comes through the proclamation, the announcement of the offer of eternal life in Christ. It comes through us sharing that message with others. That is why, as a church, we are centered on Christ and the worship of him as our saviour. 